At 54 overall, Longford Town are the worst team in Europe. But once we are done, they will be champions of Europe. The highest rated player in our squad is just 58 overall. And there isn't a single player in the entire squad that has potential greater than 64. And to make an almost impossible challenge that much harder, we are banned from signing any players of free agency or using the youth academy at all. Lord, give me strength. Uh... No. The first addition to our squad at a massive 52 overall is the Australian centre-half, Daniel Walsh. I mean, even after bringing Walsh into the squad, we only have two reserves in our squad. I can't sell players off to make more money at this point. I think we're going to have to take a step back to take steps forward. So we're going to sign this Italian striker, Kevin Spinelli. I want to keep some Irish talent in the squad as well. 16-year-old Jamie Mullins is joining the club. We now have enough reserves that I can actually justify selling a player, which is why Dean Zambra is gone. On. But after the opening transfer window, this is how the squad is looking. This is going to be a mad... You guys said you wanted some more monster rebuilds, so I'm delivering. <laughs> and since we're not allowed to use Youth Academy players, I'm releasing all of the players from our Youth Academy. Forget about even making the Champions League at this point. We need to focus on not being the worst team in Ireland. And Joe Gorman is the latest player out of the club here in the summer transfer window. Gorman goes and Liam Vincent joins the club. Also, somehow, we are in the Conference League. Our first season with Longford Town and we have finished seventh. There is a lot of room for growth. And no surprise, we got our asses absolutely handed to us. Heading to Asia for the first signing of season two, Yiro Nakamura. That is a cool name. Hopefully we can make him a pretty cool player. Since we spent so much of our budget on Nakamura, I want to get some more money into the club. So Connor Davis is off to Carlisle. Aaron Dobbs, another striker, also out of the club. Whilst we sell some Irish talent, we are going to bring some more Irish talent back into the squad as Ronan Boyce is the latest player to join us. Whilst Mick McDonald is off to Togusu Munchen. I mean, we've made some good additions to the squad, but there is still so much to go. Well, I like what I am seeing here. A slight jump, especially compared to this time last season. We are currently third in the Irish League. Technically, this is season number one because of the way the Irish calendar works out. And of course, Tottenham win the Europa League. Or the bloody, you know, the Conference League. You know what I'm talking about. I've got to be honest, I don't even know what the competition is. Again, I'm following that philosophy of one step back to take two steps forward. Tien Trust, this man's profile picture looks like he is about to gutter stomp me. And another Australian defender into the club, Alexander Popovich, joining us here for £200,000. Mate, this would be an easy tap out if we could go from Longford Town to Standard Liège. We miss out on European football by one bloody point. Rob Manley though, I was considering selling him, but he has had a belter of a season. Since we have Truist, I've decided to sell Lee Stacy. Get a bit of a Dutch defense going on here. Timo Zal, the latest player to join. I'm really just going quality over quantity at this point. Just slowly, position by position, getting somebody out and getting somebody in that's higher potential. Now I'm gonna be real. Do I think that we're any chance of winning any European silverware at this point? No, but do I want to qualify for Champions League football as quickly as I can. Of bloody course I do. And speaking of things we want to do, I am looking to hit 500,000 subscribers before FIFA 23. And if we do that, I'm buying one of you that is subscribed to the channel a football kit of your choice. So make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. We're going to get some more business done here. Dean Byrne out of the club. And we are going to replace Byrne with an American winger. This guy's got one of the cooler names I've seen in a while. Tyler Wolf. You just have to be an alpha male if your name is Tyler Wolf. Ow! Okay. I want to keep the squad depth coming in, though. I don't want to have one player in the reserve. So we're going to sign Billy Brooks. Well, we're not playing Conference League this year. Third in the Irish League at the end of the third season. But still, we are just doing absolutely terribly in the cup. I've got to say, though, what a breakout season for the young Australian defender, Daniel Walsh. Up four overall. I am a fan of seeing that. Season number four, here we go. Carl Chambers is out of the club. And despite how good of a player he has been for us, we just need to take the attack to the next level. So Rob Manley is off to the J League. I wanted to keep some Irish strike power up top. So we are going to sign Adamipo Udubeko. Meanwhile, we're saying goodbye to Aaron Robinson who packs his bags for Waterford. Again, a little bit more of backup on the bench. It is Felipe Valencia. This kid has pretty good potential. Wouldn't mind if you could creep up in the background over the course of the rebuild. And ladies and gentlemen, with the addition of Udubeko and Boyce in the squad, we now have two players that have entered the 70s. Is this the breakout season for Longford Town? This has been 
a very good start to the season so far. Just the one loss in the Irish League so far. Let's go. An All English Champions League final though. Also an All English Europa League final. Don't tell me it's going to be an All English Conference League final. Nope. It's Athletic Bilbao. <laughs> some more help in between the sticks and some more Australian talent into the squad as Cameron Cook signs on as a backup goalkeeper. And well... Again, we're not playing Conference League. Bloody hell. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got our first Irish League title. Let's go. Only two losses all season as well. We are the next big thing. We've also done the domestic double as we win the cup. We are the Irish dynasty that they've been crying out for. What a start to life here at Longford though for Odubeko. 27 goals for my man. He was the highest potential player in the team when we started the career mode, but now it is time for Durban to leave the club. He's exceeded his potential. Fair play, got him up to a 66, but now he's off to Paris. Also selling Michael Kelly. And Durban's upgrade has been signed. It is Ayman Arzil, the German center defensive midfield signing on here from Bayer Leverkusen. Had to get this guy on a cut price deal. It is Donnell Thomas. His value has gone up exponentially since we signed him, and I'm very happy about that. This team is actually starting to look somewhat respectable. Again, we are in the Champions League qualifiers. I don't have any expectations, but I just want to win the Irish League season after season after season. And the thing that has me kind of giddy about this is the fact that we are expected to dominate the Irish League, meaning the players' potentials, the dynamic player potentials, and hopefully going to go through the roof. Mate, this is unfair. We are halfway through the season and second place Shamrock Rovers are almost half in the points total to us. Liverpool really stamping their claim as Champions League dominant in this video. Our first Champions League qualifying game is a narrow 2-1 loss here. Let's see if we can get it done in the second leg. We miss out on the next round of the Champions League qualifiers on penalties, on bloody penalties. But we are in a very difficult Europa League group here against Atletico Madrid. The Invincible season, only one loss. We were one loss away from an Invincible season. But we add another Irish Cup to the trophy cabinet. I mean, that's a respectable performance in the Europa League. I'm, I'm happy with that. And it has actually got us into the preliminary round of the Conference League against Olympiacos. Kevin bloody Spinelli. Look at you, my brother. You've been here for five years and you are now 75 overall and have gone up six overall this season. Do we have a new potential rebuild hero on our hands. Liam Vincent, thank you for the memories, my friend, but it is time to upgrade at the left back role. It's our first regen player. Now I am allowed to sign this guy because we paid a transfer fee from another club. Bjorn Kraus, welcome to the club. Also getting rid of a few of our unnecessary players from the squad. Mate, I am so proud of some of the growth we have had with players in this team. We have taken some of these guys from 50 overall, well past their potential. And now if we keep dominating the Irish league, the sky is honestly the limit. Okay, we need to focus up here. This season is not as much as domination as I wanted it to be. Also taking a look at last season slash this season's results, we actually made it to the round of 16 where we narrowly lost in the conference league to Leicester. Show us the love we deserve, baby. That's right, manager of the month. We are the manager of the century in the Irish league, mate. Despite the decent performances he has had, we are selling Donnell Thomas here to MK Dons. We've made a decent little profit from when we signed him though. And we're gonna upgrade the attacking midfield spot as Andrew Moran, the Irish attacking midfielder, joining us here from Brighton for five million pounds. Also gonna sign another young Irish player, David Harkin signing from, ooh, I feel sick saying it, signing from Sydney FC. See, that's the craziest thing ever. Oh my God. We have dominated in the first round of qualifying. We're into the second round of qualifiers, baby. Let's go. It comes down to one final leg. Are we playing Champions League football for the first time? We've done it in extra time. It is Meepo and Spinelli sending us to the Champions League group stages for the first time. Well, bloody, my, my excitement has just been absolutely shot in the face with a, yeah, we're into Milan, Barcelona, and Sporting Lisbon in our group. I am genuinely proud of this team. We got, we got six points. In the group of death, we got six points. We have picked it up in the second half of the season, lads. Despite a slow start, we get another league title quite comfortably in the end. And it's another Irish card, baby. Bro, Kevin Spinelli, this is what I mean. He's got 33 goals this season. This is why I love being in a league like the Irish League. Once you dominate 
and eight is just ridiculous. He was once our highest rated player, but now Ronan Boyce is a player that we need to upgrade on. So we're going to sell the Irishman to the Spanish league. Couple of other default players that we had at the start of the career mode in Elworthy and Warfield gone. Lads, I kind of stuffed up. I couldn't get a right back replacement in time. So we're starting the season with Popovich, the Adelaide United player playing at right back. And it's not like I could go and get myself a free agent either because we're banned. Ooh, okay. We need to get ourselves a right back. Our flirting with danger sees us second in the league at the moment. Liverpool, what is actually doing? I have scoured the globe far and wide and found us our new right back player. It is Bubakar Yao joining us here from Real Sociedad. I'm also going to use the tiny little bit of budget we had left to sign a backup left midfielder in Tika de Jong. Oh no. Are we going to... We need we need to pull off a big result here in the second leg against Helsinki. Lads, we are not in the Champions League this season. That is ridiculously disappointing. This was arguably our most disappointing season for the entirety of the rebuild. Yes, we win the league again, but nine losses with the team we had and not making it to the Champions League group stages right now is disappointing. And we lost the Irish Cup. What is doing in the club? We need to reset big time. Thankfully though, we have made it into the Europa League knockout rounds. Are you kidding me? Are you actually taking the piss? All right, lads, we've hit the reset button big time. We are not messing around this season. We need to get dominance. Azil, you're gone, brother. Getting some fresh blood and some higher rated blood into the squad as well. Aniko Granero, the new defensive midfielder. I want this guy to be like Xabi Alonso 2.0. Timo Zal, you're in safe hands, brother. Sending him to my favorite club, Fulham. And getting some Irish defensive talent, Nathan Collins, joining us from Granada. Some massive additions in key areas. This is how the squad is now looking. Need everybody getting into the mid 80s. Need the growth to be accelerated. Good start to the season. Still not home and hosed yet, but 11 points clear. Borussia Dortmund dominating it all German final. I mean, we were pretty much screwed when we saw this draw to begin with, but we held our own in the first league and just got dominated in the second against Liverpool. Also, lads, I've brought a couple of players into the squad here just as rotational depth talent. Back to the Champions League, baby. Let's go. Come on. Liverpool. Liverpool, can you please leave me alone? Oh my God. We topped the group. We actually beat Liverpool in a game. And for the first time in this Longford Town rebuild, we're in the knockout rounds of the Champions League. And we don't get the luck of the draw. We've been drawn up against bloody Barcelona. End of the Irish League season though. Once again, champions of the league. And it feels right. A dominant win in the cup. Let's crack on though, get into season nine and face Barcelona. We're into the knockout rounds, lads. And I want to make a big statement signing ahead of it. So we're going to sign Sebastiano Esposito from Wolverhampton. And not surprisingly, we've blown our whole budget on Esposito at the start of the season, but the team is really starting to grow quite nicely. I am genuinely interested to see how we go against Barcelona. Here we go, lads. It is a massive test for the first leg away at the Camp Nou, the famous Camp Nou against the famous Barcelona. Simulating here the first leg. We won! Oh my god! Oh my god! We won! 2-0 we win! Holy hell! I am trying so hard not to jinx it, but we might actually be a good chance this season. All right, second leg at home against Barcelona, and we are... F I, I am... I am genuinely shocked. We are through to the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals time, ladies and gentlemen, and we are drawn up against Manchester City. FIFA just don't want to make it easy for us, do they? My confidence is slightly higher after getting the result against Barcelona. But again, we've got to, you're only as good as your next result. We're at home here at Bishop's Gate for the first leg against Manchester City. We simulate it and we get a little bit humbled here. We've got a slight chance thanks to Tyler Wolf, but there is a lot of work for us to do in this second leg. If we manage to beat Manchester City here away at the Etihad, I'm gonna call match fixing. I'm gonna call scripting, but I'm gonna simulate it here. Come on, Longford Town. <laughs> We're at the quarterfinals. Esposito gets a late goal, but unfortunately we narrowly are eliminated by Manchester City. Full focus turns to the Irish league for the remainder of the season. Longford Town, we are top of the league once again, halfway through it. Atletico Madrid went on to win the Champions League. I'm just surprised Tottenham won the conference league and it wasn't season one. Can I just say how cooked it is? But Daniel Walsh, our first ever signing and now club captain is 86 overall and received 
receiving these type of bids from some of the biggest teams in European football. But after our Champions League disappointment, I am going to make some moves at the back line. Nathan Collins, been here for a couple of seasons, but now off to Almeria. And I'm going to sign Morata here as our replacement defender, not Alvaro. It's the Brazilian center half here. 86 rated. I don't think I've ever used this guy in FIFA, so I'm interested to see how he goes. That is such a big comeback. Holy hell. We get it up against Mitterland. 3-0 in the second leg and we're back in the group stages. This could be tougher than the group we had for our first time around. We've got Liverpool, we've got Juventus, and we've got RB Salzburg. FIFA, what are you doing to me? Why do you keep doing this? This is our year. Surely, lads. Surely this is our year. It's not Barcelona. It's not Manchester City. It is Atalanta in the round of 16 of the Champions League. But it is another Irish league title here at the end of season number nine. But it is not an Irish Cup. We didn't even make the final this year. Kevin Spinelli started season one, 50 overall. His potential was like mid 60s. We have turned this Italian striker into one of the best footballers on the planet. This is phenomenal. Ahead of our round of 16 clash though, we are sending Andrew Moran back to the Premier League, headed to Burnley. This right here is an end game signing. We are absolutely splashing. This is the biggest budget we've had in the entire rebuild and I'm making it happen. Phil Foden had less than 12 months remaining on his contract. So we have got him on a cut price deal. Welcome to Longford Town, Philip Bloody Foden. Also going to spend 6.2 million pounds on a backup striker in Nicola Grassi. So this is the team we have to take into battle for the Champions League knockout rounds. Troost up to a 93 is absolutely off its head. All right, lads, on the road for the first game here, heading to Atalanta, simulating against the Italian outfit and coming away with a 2-1 win. Spinelli picking up a brace back in his home nation. Let's get it done here in the second leg, lads. We are at home back at Bishop's Gate. We're going to simulate it against Atalanta. Ooh, we narrowly, narrowly get ourselves into the next round. It's just never easy. Never, never, never easy. Real Madrid in the quarterfinals here. The Galacticos are absolutely ridiculous in FIFA every single year. Their team is star-studded, absolutely star-studded. We simulate it and it is a two-all draw. Everything's still on the line here as we get to the second leg. We've got to go here to the Santiago Bernabeu into the lion's den and get ourselves some sort of a result. Either a draw to send into extra time or a win to get ourselves through to the semifinals. Big pressure. We're simulating against Real Madrid and oh my goodness gracious me, 3-0. Oh my God, maybe, we're the, maybe we are the real deal. This is not the team I expected us to be versing in the semifinals, but I'm, I'm certainly not complaining. We've already taken down one Italian side in the knockout round so far. Let's see if we can make another here. On the road in Naples for the first leg against Napoli and coming away with a 3-1 win, although that would have been a lot better if Osiman didn't get the goal right at the end. I swear to God, lads, if that like, consolation goal they got in the first leg right at the death comes to bite us in the behind, I'm going to be upset. Simulating, surely good. We are into the Champions League final, and I feel more relief than excitement if I'm being transparent. But here we go, lads. Ten seasons into rebuilding the worst team in European football, and we are now into a Champions League final. It is Longford Town versus Barcelona. Tottenham have their own little road to glory on the side. Meanwhile, Le Leicester continue the English domination. But here we go, lads, going through the squad report here. Taking a look at the side we have built 10 seasons in. And honestly, if I had to say with the new restrictions I put on myself for this rebuild, the hardest thing I've found is not going out, not being able to go out there and buy a bunch of regen players to use as squad depth. I had to actually go and spend money on players that I probably will never use just to have in the reserves. That has been frustrating. If we had a strong depth to begin with, that wouldn't have been such an issue. But the fact we started the save with just one reserve has been a quite the issue. And I'm so proud of the team that we have put on the park so far. But now it is time for us to actually go use them as we take on Barcelona in the Champions League final. Here we go, lads. It is the promised land, the Champions League final. Let's get it done. Get somebody through there. Good ball out there to Tyler Wolf. Let's go. Oh, save. Get the follow up. No. Barcelona, look at that massive gap out there. I've got to start blocking that. No. Oh, straight at the keeper. I was trying to block that pass. Come on, let's get something going here. It's going to be Nakamura going there to Spinelli. I see that run being made. That's a nice ball. Foden. Foden, we've got options. We're going to go down the guts. I didn't want to scoop it like that. But we're going to go through and hit it straight into Stegen. We've got the corner here, lads. Putting it on the penalty spot. Looking for the captain. Walsh. Walsh, it's cleared off the line. I swear to God, if we concede right now, 
I'm going to be so angry. Just defend, lads. Good tackle from Walsh. That was an all or nothing moment. Now, can we get something on the counter? Nakamura. Onside. Nakamura. Be the hero. Nakamura. What's the fucking input lag? I'm hitting B and it's giving me a red time. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Van Der Beek, I swear, if I lose in the Champions League final to Donny Van Der Beek, they get saved in the near post. All right, lads, I'm going to make a substitution here. Wolf is just, I don't know, not really doing it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Esposito in the attacking midfield position and then put Foden on the wing. His legs are a little bit worrying, but we'll see how we go. Come on, lads, see if we can get something going. Oh, he's just being taken out here. Oh, it's Araujo. He got booked in like the first minute. He's off. He's off! Boss is down to 10 men! We couldn't do anything with our numerical advantage, so it's off to a penalty shootout. Trying to put this one top right corner with the hero, Spinelli. Spinelli. Green beam and it's been saved by Ter Stegen. I thought it was impossible to save off a green beam. Sola chips it! You're an idiot. You are an idiot, bro. You stupid. Udebeko, come on, I'm just going same spot. His shooting isn't as good. We're going to green time that one, though, and we have the lead. Come on, lads. It is Fernand Torres up against Trust. Saved! Trust with the save. We have the advantage. All right, we're just going to keep putting ours in the back of the net. Phil Foden, I'm going to change it up. Why is this so, so hard to get it in there? But we're going to go there. Phil Foden, another green beam. Come on, lads. Can we make it three saves from three attempts? Ramos, he nope. hits it straight down the middle. Oh my God, Barca can't score a goal to save their life. And if Esposito scores this, I believe we win the Champions League final. Yellow, we win the final. Come on, lads. The most, the worst team in Europe. We have won a Champions League final with them. Lads, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe down below if you are new around here. Enjoy the title celebrations. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.